there just won't be enough, you know. So, just like he just moved that first rock, that's the first embedded rock into the path. So, I'll get you guys to help me a little bit. First of all, let's just pull a little of the sand out of the way. Let's get the rock out of the way. Yep. Get the loose sand out of the way. So where you find it. Okay, so we have uncovered the pack. So now we're going to take those that top layer of rocks carefully. Get them out of there. So most of your nuggets you're going to find where? On bedrock. Okay, so if we were sampling bedrock, this would be a number four screen. I'd be a I'd be allowing for bigger pieces of gold, but because we're way up in the material and the, and the odds are very, very slim of a big piece of gold, I'm going to bet on small gold. So statistically, it's to my advantage to screen more big stuff out and get more of the small stuff in. You guys with me? Yep. Now a beginner, and you guys are almost not beginners anymore, a beginner would say, gold's valuable. I don't want to take any chances, so I won't do any screening. See how that works? So they fill their pan with very low-grade material, go down to the river, pan it, and they get a bad pan. It's a bad pan. Me, I'll screen most of the big rocks out of there, most of the rocks out. I'll concentrate so the sample is about five times as much material of the right kind of material, and I might get a really good pan. The beginner would have, because he doesn't want to lose any gold, He'll miss the pastry. See how it works? So you gotta you gotta use your analyzer a little bit and try to put your effort into where it is most likely to produce the best result. You guys following me on this? Break it up a little. And the surface area that I want to test is this, right? I'm not going deep. That gets all the bigger. You want just to uh, stuff that good. Yeah. 